Good morning, everyone, and happy Sabbath. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and blessed day so far. Today, I want to talk to you about blown glass art. When you blow glass art, it's really, really hot. And when you're done, you have to set it aside to cool. However, if it cools too quickly or too fast, it sometimes can break or fracture. I have this beautiful blown glass piece of art, and it's so very pretty. See? <laughs> but it cooled too quickly, so all of a sudden you can see this crack going back behind it, and it goes all the way around, and then it comes straight down on one side, and then it continues all the way down to the bottom. It's not very attractive, but it doesn't matter because the piece is still very beautiful. You know, I want to remind you that Satan oftentimes tells us that, you know, you're not really perfect, so why bother? You know, you are you have flaws like you don't always tell the truth or you don't always clean your room on time when mom and dad tell you to or you disobey your teacher in class or you're not very kind to your friends. Those are things that he tells you you're not perfect at. And that's kind of like the cracks in my stained glass. However... God says, you know what, that doesn't matter that he reminds you all the time of those things. Because Satan is not your father. Satan is not your creator. I, God, am your creator. And let me tell you, I know you have flaws, and I'm sorry that you have flaws, but I am the one who created you, and I am the one who forgives you of those things that you do or say. So, I am here to remind you that despite the fact that you have cracks or flaws or whatever it is that you don't think is perfect, I think you're perfect because I am your creator, God. And I think that despite your flaws, you can still do great things and that you are my beautiful creation. And I want to remind you that every single day. So despite the fact that you might not obey mom and dad, or you might be rude or mean to your teacher or your fellow students or friends, you can still do great things because you are God's beautiful masterpiece. So I encourage you, Despite the little flaws that you have, you need to shine on because you are beautiful. Happy Sabbath.